Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another television review and it is yet another Friday which means a new episode of The Mandalorian and today the sixth episode of Mandalorian season two has come out and I watched it and what did I think of it? It was spectacular. And it almost felt like an awesome fan film that probably wouldn't happen in a big Star Wars movie or television show, but it did and it was great. Now I do gotta put out a little warning before I go any further because I gotta go into spoilers. I got to go into spoilers because it is nearly impossible to talk about this episode uh, without talking about any spoilers. So if you have not seen the newest episode of The Mandalorian, make sure and go and check it out and then come back and and watch the rest of this video so with that being said boy boy oh boy that a lot of things happen in 30 minutes now when mando and baby yoda first arrived on the planet with the jedi temple thing uh which i kind of found a little bit surprising because it's usually taken them two episodes to get to places which uh, i wouldn't say is really a bad thing but when mando first arrives he sees a ship in the sky and um at, at that point i was like we know whose shit that is. And that, of course, is the great Boba Fett, um, which apparently he's been tracking Mando uh, to get his armor back. And, I mean, this tracker thing is getting out of hand. I mean, Mando got to start checking his ship because, I mean, who knows how many trackers are on that thing. But I guess now we got to use past tense when we're talking about the Razor Crest because, um... But then we realize Boba Fett has a little sidekick in Fennec Shand from season five, from season one, excuse me, episode five. Uh, hopefully, I said her name right. But it was a nice surprise to see her back. Now, while Baby Yoda was busy, you know, Jedi searching on that rock thing, um, we, of course, we have the stormtroopers arrive, and Moff Gideon. You know, he also placed a tracker on the Razor Crest, and they tracked him there. And then we get some pretty awesome action. And let me tell you. The stormtrooper fatalities in this episode are absolutely brutal. I mean, what bo what Boba Fett did to these troopers, I mean, it's, it's insane. I mean, we saw pieces of their plastic armor uh, fall off, and it was just like, whew. This is gritty. I love it. However, with this episode being called The Tragedy, something gotta go wrong, and, um... Not only did Moff Gideon destroy the Razor Crest, but Moff Gideon's Dark Troopers, or should I say Iron Man Troopers, which were awesome looking, um, they went down and uh, captured the young baby Yoda. And as Mando and the Dark Troopers were coming in hot, trying to get uh, baby Yoda, I kind of figured that the Dark Troopers would probably get him first, and that we would spend the last two episodes trying to get the child back. And I saw what the creators were trying to do here, having that really nice moment between baby Yoda and Mando at the top of the episode, just to rip our hearts out by the end of the episode. Just absolutely cruel. Now, by the end of the episode, Boba Fett decides that he's going to go and help Mando, and Mando goes to Cara Dune, who is apparently a part of the Rebellion now, or at least sort of. But it looks like she's going to help Mando out uh, to get the child back, and it also seems like we're going to get Bill Burr in the next episode because Mando needs Bill Burr to get to the child, which is all great stuff because they're using previous events and characters that at first it didn't really seem like they were gonna really impact the overall plot uh, but apparently uh, at least in Bill Burr's case now they are and I highly doubt the surprises will end there I mean who knows maybe frog lady is gonna come join the group and be a part of the action maybe Bo-Katan maybe Ahsoka lots of possibilities going into the final two episodes of the Mandalorian which I'm sure will be absolutely nerd chilling and I was very happy to see Robert Rodriguez's name when it said directed by in the end credits but those are my thoughts on the new episode of the Mandalorian Mandalorian, which is probably now my new favorite uh, of season two, uh, taking episode four's place in the number one spot. 
But yeah, I thought this was a brilliant episode, absolutely loved it, had a ball with it, and with that being said, leave a comment down in the comment section below of what you think of this new episode of The Mandalorian, and where do you think this show is going to go in the last couple of episodes of the season, and don't forget, you can also follow me at the Kid Critic on Instagram or at Kid Critic on Letterboxd, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always in every single video, look out for the next video, or review, and... Peace.